Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to feel, look, and be amazing without makeup. Now we all are amazing. First thing when we roll out of bed, we're beautiful. We offer uniqueness to this world. These are ways and things that I do just to make myself look way more put together than when I don't do them. And there is no makeup. I know, you're looking at my lips. I have a very insane product I cannot wait to share with you guys. I'm so excited to show you. I have so many little secrets. We're talking supplements, we're talking skincare, we're talking lips, we're talking outfits, accessories, all that. So, let's get into the video. <laughs> Oof, not feeling pretty today. Let's fix that together. So I track my sleep with my Aura Ring. This is probably one of my favorite things I've used ever. It tracks your body temperature, heart rate, workouts, sleep. Sleep is such a huge foundation to looking pretty without makeup, looking your most beautiful, radiant self without makeup. So when I'm lacking sleep, like I am today, I'm on five and a half hours. I am an eight to nine hour girly. If you don't need that much sleep, good for you. That's great for me to look my best, my most radiant, my most healthy, my most awake, alive, and it's eight to nine hours for me. That ties in with alcohol. I had a drink and a half last night and maybe it's just cause, you know, time is going by, I'm just not able to process alcohol, I don't know. But I also had a Taco Bell taco so a Taco Bell taco mixed with some alcohol, which I rarely drink, also weighs on you. Your diet and not drinking enough water and drinking alcohol. So in this, I have my iced water, my aloe vera, so good. I had a burrito as well that I didn't eat. This morning I warmed it up and I ate it with some eggs. And let's just say fast food, even if it's on the healthier side, just always is not the best. Just cooking for yourself at home. So with that, with no sleep, some alcohol, and a little bit of fast food, I get puffy. A lot of people get puffy. Diet can make you puffy and inflamed. Alcohol makes you inflamed. Alcohol is a poison. There is no benefits to alcohol. I know people have talked that like some red wine. One glass of wine a day can bring you benefits. I was not drinking wine. So I'm inflamed, I'm a little puffy, I'm lacking sleep. So what I like to do, my first step when I'm feeling ugh, like this, I take this little ice. There's tons of these, I'll link my favorite ones below. But basically I just like to hold this. It burns at first, okay. It burns at first. And then I just start doing this. And any puffiness or extra salt or inflammation, like even when you like hurt yourself or whatever, what do you do? You ice it. When you get done with a surgery, you ice it. It just helps inflammation. It just feels good. And I feel like this also tightens up my skin a little bit. The coldness of this like really makes my skin look tight. So I don't know. I like that. Oh, and it drips everywhere. So I just like to hold a little towel and then I go under my chin and then you go to the other side and then I just go like this. And I'll do this for just a few minutes. This is just kind of how I'm going to wake myself up also because if I'm lacking sleep, this ice, an ice bucket wakes you up. And your skin will get a little pink, that's fine. Just do it until you only get a little pink. Don't like hurt yourself. <laughs> or you can just do this over the sink. And while I'm doing this, let's talk about my robe i love this robe it's from noli shop literally so comfy it has pockets they have short ones they have long ones and i love the pattern on it so i'll put that down below if you guys have any robes or loungewear you love obviously we know skins but i love loungewear and i love to be cozy oh this feels so good i just like to pet my skin i love that my face is a little tingly after this ice snatching you can also gua sha i don't gua sha but i love this it's so great but since the alcohol is still probably in my system, because depuffing, once you're depuffed, you're waking your skin up, I'm gonna sprinkle in some supplements that I love, that I think really help bring out my best beauty. First one is Milk Thistle. You can do your own research, or I could do a dedicated video to supplements. I get a little about that just because I am not a doctor and I highly advise research on your own. I'm just giving suggestions because I've done my own research for what works for me. This is just a suggestion, but milk thistle is amazing. It is known for insane liver support. You take two at night after you've been drinking. I did take one this morning. It just helps your liver. It really supports 
literally alcohol in any fast food or crap that you've eaten and i've noticed even though i feel sleepy and a little groggy hangovers when i would have two drinks used to hit me insane it was so bad this has been a lifesaver any liver support that you can give to your liver especially if you like energy drinks coffee anything that affects the liver your liver is your biggest filtering system do some research though check it out but i love this for the alcohol side of things Okay, let's do some skincare. Having a simple skincare routine, I can do a whole one. I think I need to update and do a new video, but I'm just gonna revitalize my skin. I used to be so into rose water, and now I'm back. I took a break, I don't know what I was thinking. It's so good on top of makeup. It's so good to start your skin off. It's perfection. Just a light moisturizer, just doing some light moisturizer. I'm gonna take a thicker moisturizer. I'm gonna put it on my neck. Get your sunscreen. To me, this is a big look more beautiful without makeup because over time, the sun will break down your collagen. It won't make you feel and look as pretty. Now granted, we are all so blessed to age and signs of aging naturally and gracefully are so beautiful because it shows that we get to live a beautiful long life. However, to age too soon when you shouldn't be aging too soon is because you're not wearing your sunscreen and you're doing damaging things to your skin. Now I have talked about tanning beds on here i go in with spf i wear my sunscreen and then i wear two towels on my face and my neck i know i'm still tanning my arms and my legs but i'm constantly exfoliating and blah blah i'm doing like all the aftercare and i only do it twice a month sunscreen that's changing the game for me this is the tatcha 50 spf it comes with this cool applicator look at this it looks like it's gonna be makeup Okay, it's so light, I can't even tell when it's like going on. I do like to use a brush. I'm just going to brush this all over. Look at this. There's no leftover like residue or anything weird or white. It just blends into the skin. So, so good. I just put this everywhere and I trail it down my neck. Just put some extra on my neck because I do use tretinoin on my neck. And then what I like to do, put some on my hand. Now I am washing my hands a lot, so sunscreen on hands does get tricky for me, but I just buff it into my hands just for what it's worth. It's kind of hard because I'm always just like wiping my hands, cleaning up, whatever. Now we're gonna talk about teeth. When I started really straightening my teeth and caring for the health of my teeth, it was just a game changer for not only my confidence, but I'm not gonna lie, my look. And my teeth still are not perfect. I still see at times like my jaw looks crooked or whatever. I swear when they're straight or as straight as you can get them, it's golden. Now, if you can't afford Invisalign braces or anything like that, clean white teeth still can look absolutely amazing and they don't have to be straight. A Moon electric toothbrush, Tom's toothpaste. These are my ride or die. I can't live without these. I travel everywhere with this combo and it's just so good. I love a water pick. This is a portable one. I just charge it and then you fill it up with water back here. You lean over your sink, kind of just cleans all of that bigger gunk out that maybe your toothbrush and your like flosser really won't get the floss is for like the real tight stuff this is for like this crud the bigger stuff like randomly around your teeth so i love this then little flossers i like to have in my purse i like to just use one at night throw it in my bag have it right next to me in my bathroom these are just they're great I know this is common sense, but it makes such a big difference. And it makes your teeth like, there's one thing if your teeth are like right here, but if you can see someone and they've got all this up here, you need to clean it. And you need to take care of your mouth because you can have white, beautiful teeth. Even though they don't look perfectly straight, like I said, you can still have an amazing smile. And with the whiteness, I, I stopped white strips a few years ago and I wasn't really doing anything to whiten my teeth and I was like, I should, I, I do drink coffee often. So I started coconut pulling. Now this is like a special one. You can just use regular coconut oil. This is coconut oil with pulling rinse. 
So basically I just do this maybe two to three times a week. I should do it every day, but it pulls all the gunk bacteria and it's a natural teeth whitener. Like I have noticed when I do it, it makes my teeth look really shiny because the coconut oil is kind of coating them. It makes your breath smell good because you're pulling out all the kind of gunk, bad bacteria, things that can make your breath smell. I get this at my Whole Foods if I can find it online. Obviously I'll link it for you guys. So that is your teeth. Also for sunscreen, some of you may say that this is considered makeup fine. I don't know if I fully consider it makeup, but it's a tinted sunscreen. I think a tinted sunscreen is amazing because it does work as a very, very light foundation and can give you a little something, little, mm, you know what I'm saying? I love this for something very specific. I love to put this around here as a contour because I did end up ordering too dark of a shade and I was like, well, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use it as bronzer. And what I love about it is it sets like a matte powder. Even though I already put it on my SPF, I can now use it as a little bronzer and look a little bit more alive. Before I'll put this on though, face tan. This is an organic daily sunless tanning serum. I love this. Basically around the same areas that I'm gonna bronze sunscreen my face. So I take this fluffy brush and I just kind of buff it. I don't love to use my fingers just because I will sometimes forget to wash them and then my fingers turn orange and it's just not a cute look. I'll also take this down my neck and this stuff is super potent, like very, very, very strong. It will make your face tan or wherever you put it. And then I just kind of take the residue and rub it around my face. And then we're gonna take the sunscreen. Put some on the back of my hand like that. I'm just gonna take a contour brush. I'm just going right along the edges of my face. Now again, you guys could call this cheating. I call it being extra safe with some sunscreen. Cause why not add a shade darker of sunscreen tint? and have a bronzy look. Like we're, I'm trying to be a sun goddess without it looking like I am. It's just such a light, light touch. Now, the most exciting part of the video, the lips. I'm gonna do something crazy. I pretty much cannot leave my house, nor do I even wanna walk around my house, even without makeup, without my lips on. I love lip liner, I'm addicted, it is actually a problem. I just think it makes me look more put together when I have nothing going on. I like to walk past the mirror in my house when I'm alone by myself and be like, oh, poppin'. It's just a thing and it makes me feel really, really good and way more put together when I have a little bit of my lips on. Now, since I am not using makeup, I have a lip stain. So this is the Viral Wonder Skin Lip Stain. I have three colors, Whimsical, Charming, and Divine. Divine is the super red, then you have like a pinky and another pink. I'm gonna show you guys one of these and I think I'm gonna do Whimsical because it's such a pretty color and I, I can't get enough. Let's get into it. It literally has this iridescent blue purple color to it. I have migration from lip filler, but I have a clear white line around my lips. So I'm gonna make sure I heavily focus this lip tint on that line. So let's just get into it. I'm just gonna start on the outer edge of my lip. It literally looks like I have a mustache. This is uh, very attractive. Honestly, kind of a vibe, right? So I'm gonna let that sit. Oh, I talk about some other goodies. So they also sent me the Wonder Skin. This is a three-in-one lip scrub. So it looks just like this. Lip scrubs are so, so nice to use, honestly. Maybe I'll just take some right in the center here. I'm just gonna use it. Oh my gosh, it's actually getting so much crud. Now I'm all exfoliated. I always like to do that bottom lip, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply. I get in the cracks. Now we sit. They all have like similar pigments to them. I think it just depends on like whatever stain and how dark you want it. Like this could be so pretty under like a really, really red lipstick. If you find that your red lipstick smears and stuff when you do wear it. Also we have some mascara. I love their packaging. It's just so sleek and pretty. I just, it's easy. Their brow styler I'm gonna use later, even though that's considered makeup, we are gonna style the brows a bit. Some good old eyeliner. Literally, I love this brand. It came out of nowhere and I was like, I need to get my hands on it. I see it 
all over TikTok, so why not bring it to YouTube, you know what I mean? You look a little crazy, but it kind of gives you like dark, sexy, Morticia vibes. I definitely feel like brands miss out on these like pencil lip scrubs. I'm so glad Wonderskin has one because I use it nightly, and then I put on a lip mask, which you will see. So let's wipe this off and see our result. Ooh. This is literally the cutest color. And since I just exfoliated my lips, I'm gonna keep them hydrated with the Fenty Skin Watermelon Mask. How dreamy. We're just gonna... And this has like a gold... I'm saying that so weird. This has like a gold shimmer to it. So, so pretty on the lips. Let's do brows. To me, when your brows are cleaned up and shaped up, it just, like I said, gives you a nice tailored put together look. I'm gonna start with a little brow trim and a little pluck. Now, I do love a bushy brow look. I wish my brows were thicker. I'm working on it. I've actually been trying the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum. I actually left it at a friend's house. I gotta go pick up that skincare bag, but I've been liking it. Obviously, it has more natural ingredients, so it's gonna be a slower result. When I used other lash serums and stuff like that, the result was way faster, but it had this chemical in it, and essentially what that chemical does is it shrinks down your fat pads underneath your eyes, causing hollowness. That's a no for me. Even causing dark circles. So I was like, you know, I'll try it the natural way, and if I really want crazy long spider lashes, I'll add a couple individuals. It's totally fine. But I take some Aquaphor, and I'm going to brush them, brush them up, like really get in there. And my brows are actually standing up pretty straight, pretty well, because I actually just tried a brow lamination, and I don't know if I like it, because it kind of made my hair is like wiry and curly. I was like, what is this? I take these mini scissors and I just go along and I just cut a little bit just to like give them a little, little trim or else they're doing stuff. And I like, you know, my brows, if I put them up, I like them to go up. If I put them down, I like them to go down. And when they get too long, they start just being like, you know, we don't have to listen to you. And I'm like, oh, wait a second. See, I have a hair that's like kind of losing its mind after this brow lamination. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. But I'm just brushing, just brushing some of my brows forward and then I just go. I do like to brush these front brows upwards. I think it looks really cute when I'm doing my makeup. Just brush them up so it looks like that. I'm gonna do the other side. Now that I've set my brows where I want, I'm just gonna pluck them and I'm only gonna pluck the random hairs that are like out in the middle of nowhere. I randomly get those. You can also use like a little shaver thing, but I really don't like to pluck too much. So now we're gonna do a little something. And the reason why I call this no makeup because these are things that last longer than a full day. So this lip tint stays on for like two days. If you really scrub it, it'll come off sooner. But obviously sunscreen doesn't last two days, but I'm gonna do a brow tint on myself. And I feel like when my brows are dark and full and fluffy and groomed, it's such a cute, tailored, young, youthful look. Lemon water break, rose water break. Mm, and it smells so good. It's nothing crazy. It doesn't have that crazy bleach burning smell to it. Even though I, I kind of kind of like that smell. It reminds me of like when I was growing up when I was first dyeing my hair. I'm gonna take this little tiny bowl, a little bit of the color, and then a little bit of the activator. Just a little. That's all you need. You just need the tiniest amount. Remember, we're doing brows. I take a Q-tip and I'm mixing this on the middle part of my brow, and then a little bit at the beginning. Same thing to this side. I did wipe a lot of the Aquaphor off. You might wanna like fully rewash your face and really make sure they're dry, but this will be fine, I think. And then I just take the clean end of the Q-tip and just clean up. We barely needed anything at all. So while those are setting, let's get into a lash curler. Simple, velour lash curler. I love this, I have four of them. I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and i find that when my lashes are just kind of upright it just adds a more awake look looking good with no makeup is still fresh awake you can see cute my brows are still sitting i'm gonna let them sit for a little bit let's talk about supplements that i take for my hair skin nails and inner beauty 
First things first, I was a little bloated from eating Taco Bell. So these bloat supplements, the ingredients are so clean, organic ginger and ribosome, and then dandelion root, lemon balm, peppermint leaf, so much good clean, clean ingredients. So I took two of these. I'm feeling already so much better and less bloated. It's actually amazing. I feel so good. I always, 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 always start my morning with a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. This helps your immune system, but also help just your, your skin in general. Vitamin C is so good for the skin. It just, it helps repair, makes you glow. And it's so good if you're trying to not get sick, if you're traveling, I just take it every day. I take one, you can take it on an empty stomach. It doesn't hurt your stomach. Same thing with the bloating, so good. Beef liver, this is my multi supplement, my multivitamin supplement. So many good vitamins and minerals in here. I love this, I think it helps with overall skin and hair. <laughs> then I've been eating collagen. There's so much controversy over if eating collagen helps, if it doesn't, putting it on your skin, whatever it is. I love these because it's also good for your bones and joints. Vitamin D and magnesium for sleep, if you can't sleep, because sleep will help with your beauty sleep, so I take these at night. Hair, skin, and nails, Mary Ruth's organic gummies. I love these. I don't know if I would recommend a gummy to eat all the time, but I like these. These were gifted to me, and this is my second bottle. Resveratrol and quercetin. Resveratrol is insane for anti-aging. It's so good. I can do a full video going in depth of like my whole skin supplement collection and what I do, but this is kind of pretty much what I do. There's a couple things I'm not mentioning, and if you want to see that video, you can. I can add in some meals and some recipes that are easy that I love that keep your skin looking plump and amazing. I know I kind of blew through that, but I don't want to ramble too much because I could be here forever and this video is already pretty long. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just wiping my brows. Okay, my brows are looking bold and beautiful. <laughs> they make way more sense when I got my full face on, but I actually, I think they look super cute. For a little at home, save like 200 bucks, or I don't know how much people pay for lamination, trimming, threading, tinting, crazy. You can just do this yourself. Do it with like the more natural hair dye. It's not as strong. I've been doing this for years and it's never made my hair fall out or anything like that. However, it just doesn't last as long. Like this would last like maybe five days to a week with washing and rinsing my face two times a day. Smelling good. Smelling good and looking good. When your skin is glowing, okay, this Sol de Janeiro body oil smells so good. The body spray to me, I'm over. I've used it way too much. I smell it everywhere. It's in everyone's gym bag. I'm over it. This has more of a coconutty vanilla. It's a little bit stronger and it makes your skin look amazing. I put some on before we started this video just to give myself a glow because I wanted to feel, you know, this Sol de Janeiro deodorant. So yummy. It's so good. Oh, let's put some on because I kind of smell. Yep, smelling good. I swear, if I walk past somebody who stinks, I don't care how beautiful you are, you stink. Like that doesn't make you, I don't care how much makeup you have on. You smell bad, like it's not <laughs> cute. Also, if you're wearing too much perfume and it's way too strong, I can't admire your beauty because I'm, I can't admire your beauty because I'm like drowning in your smell. I don't like that either. So just smelling good and warm, or if you like floral, if you like more of a light powdery scent, deeper, whatever, just light, you know what I mean? And come, come fresh and correct and skin glowing. Eye drops. You know what's funny? I thought these didn't make a big difference and then the other day I did them before I filmed a video and I was like I look so much more awake so I just go like this one drop one drop and it'll just transform your eyes into this brighter beautiful bliss last up we'll finish this up hair when my hair is clean washed or styled or has dry shampoo it just looks makes me look way more tailored so I just ordered a new Dyson for the Sephora sale. I can't wait to get her. I gave my other one away and I was like, no, I need that, but I need to get it on sale because my bank account is. A cute outfit. Listen, there's dumpy sweats and there's put together sweats. You don't have to wear something crazy. You know what I'm saying when I'm saying get out of your dumpy sweats and put on 
your nice sweats. Like, you know what I'm talking about. There's your nice sweats and your dumpy sweats. When I'm in my dumpy sweats, it's really hard for me to feel like super pretty. Now, if you feel great in your dumpy sweats, you're like, this is the most gorgeous I can ever be. Well, good for you. I feel like I want to eat, sleep, and not be put together. Not saying that I'm ugly. I just, you know, I don't know if I'd be looking like that pretty. <laughs> Cause my sweats can be dumpy. Like, you know, the ones that maybe have like a little hole, rip in the side, a little stain somewhere, like an oil stain or something, or like a yellow stain on your like leg. You're like, how, what did I eat? Like, the, what is that? So get into something cute or just like, I love like right now I'm in my robe and then I'm in just like a nude bra. Like it's a, just like a bralette. Look at, I'll show you. It's like, it's like this. It has like oil on it, but it's just like a nude bra from Skims. And then I have a nice, cozy, high-waisted, hugging nude pair of undies and my slippers. And I really feel nice. So like now I'm going to beep up around my house, clean up a little bit, and I feel put together. And I'll probably like pop out and meet my girlfriend. And if you're really down and out, like bad sunglasses. I have some really good brands I wanna share that I recently got for the festival and summer season. These are so great. Let's start with Reality Sunwear. These to me, this style is such a staple. Like so, 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 so easy. She, I, I could go out on this. Another pair of Sunnies from Reality. These are a little bit different, a little bit more fun. Oscar and Frank. This is like a classic but new age aviator. This is cool. Like I like these. I was never an aviator girl. I was never this type of frame. But I think this with like a hoodie and some low or some like baggy black jeans, like a like a vintage black hoodie and then some baggy black black jeans with just like some cool Adidas or whatever. Cruising out still on a chilly day or an earlier morning. You're golden. I haven't even worn these yet. These are Otra or Otra, I don't know. I love me a good, what's this called? Cat eye. And this is in a tortoise brown. Cute, they're a little dirty. I have these. These are, ooh, these are a little dirty. These are bigger, so if you really need to hide, it's from Vahele. I, I don't know how to read, okay? Also, any accessory too with the sunglasses and the cute outfit. I love throwing on just a cute cross necklace. This is from my jewelry line, Lorelei. If you guys haven't known, I have my own jewelry and we've been doing just very simple, dainty stuff. We have different sizes of the crosses. We have rings. These are some rings that I like to stack. 18 karat gold plated, silver coming soon, so check that out. Okay guys, so this is the video on how to feel and look prettier without any makeup. Some of you may say I cheated. I have just found a way to just not put makeup on and I don't do all these things at once. So you're like, wow, that took just as long as doing your makeup. In the mornings when you're taking your supplements, you're drinking your water, you're getting your sleep, this is all stuff accumulative, but then some stuff you can quickly just, you know, ice the face, do a lip tint, a little bit of sunscreen, brush up your brows and get some sunnies. So you can kind of take bits and pieces of this video and tailor it to whatever vibe you're on but you could also sit and do everything to give yourself the maintenance you need to look pretty naturally. And we are all so beautiful and offer so much uniqueness in beauty. And I'm so lucky that I get to get on the internet and talk to you guys. And I know some of you guys will leave comments on what you do to feel more beautiful. Maybe something I miss, something you do also. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you. Check out this lip tint. I honestly think the one thing that pulls together this look is this lip tint. So yeah, check it out. It lasts all day. I'm probably going to throw on some concealer and mascara for later tonight. And yeah, I love you guys. Mwah. It's you and I, the feeling's right There's a spark, I can't deny It might be wrong, but it feels so right You got me dancing till the end of time Don't you know, I'm out of control The rush I'm feeling